for the city of Somerset. How long have you been up here now? Uh, 13 years. Okay. Been so an EMT me, for... Okay, so let me start specifically. Yeah. You're a paramedic for the city of Somerset? Mm -hmm. And have you done that for 13 years? Yes. In, 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 for the city of Somerset? Yes. Okay. And uh, what 16, 16 years total with the city of Somerset. I was an EMT prior to that. Okay. So what's the difference between an EMT and a paramedic? EMT's basic life support, <laughs> paramedic does a little bit more, cardiac drugs, uh, intubations, you know, we can defibrillate, you know, cardiac monitor. Okay. Is that the only place you've been, an uh, EMT or a paramedic? No, several, several of the surrounding counties. At the moment or before this? Before. Okay. Over, over, over the years. I've worked Macquarie County, uh, Rock Castle, uh, Lincoln County. Okay. And is being a paramedic for the city of Somerset, is, the only, is that the only job you have right now? Currently. Currently. Okay. I want to ask you about some events of June the 15th of 2014. You recall that day, yeah. day that the robbery occurred with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me back up. You were still <coughs> working with the city of Somerset at that time? Yes. Okay. Were you working anywhere else it, during that time? Rockcastle County. Rockcastle County also as a paramedic? Yes, ma'am. Doing both at the same time? Yeah. <clears throat> and were you living in Somerset at that time? Mm, not at that time, no. I was with McCoy County. Living where? In Macquarie County. Macquarie yeah. County? Yeah, it was right, right before I moved to Somerset. Okay, and so in June of 2014, you were living in Macquarie County. Yes. Were you married at that time? No. Okay, so were, were you dating Jessica? I was dating Jessica. Yeah. You were dating Jessica, yeah. but not Te married. Technically, I lived in Macquarie County. I stayed in Somerset County. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Did you come to Lexington on that day? On yes. June the 15th? Yes. Why were you coming to Lexington? Because my dad owns a gun shop store and they had the gun and knife show was in town and he had a booth for that. So I come, I come up to help him with that. You were coming up to help him with that? Mm -hmm. What's the name of his store? Hansford's Bait and More. Where is that? It's located in Macquarie County. Located where? Macquarie County. Okay, all right. And do you work with him at all at that big shop? Yeah, from time to time. Not not so much now, but I mean, back then I did quite a bit. Okay. And so you said that it was a gun and knife show that was here in Lexington? Mm -hmm. Where was it? At the Convention Center, I guess what's it called. The Convention Center, Rupp Arena downtown? Yeah, down attached down to Rupp, the back side of Rupp. Back side of Rupp down here? Right. Okay. And so, and tell us what, what is that gun and knife show? Generally, what is that? I think it's called the Kenny Woods Gun and Knife Show, I think it is. But it, anyway, he has them set up different places. Somerset has one, Lexington has one. They they have like a, you can set up vendor booths. Uh, private people can come in, 
sell, buy, trade, different items. I mean, anything to do with hunting, you know, guns. They, they sell, uh, you know, ammo, different, uh, I don't know, accessories, I guess. Okay. And so in this in this gun and knife show, various people will come and set up booths and sell, I guess, their wares or sell things that they have. Right, right. You have to you have to purchase the the vendor spot mm -hmm. for that. You know, to set up a booth. Or okay. And what does your dad sell? You said he was going to come up and set up a booth. What does he sell? Oh, uh, like I said, basically just accessories. He, with his, he, you know, he sells guns, handguns, long guns. Uh, Different accessory clips, shells, ammunition, cleaning kits. Okay, so he was going to come up and sell those things. I guess it was going to sell all those things. Right. And you were going to come up to help him. Right. All right. Was there anybody else that's going to come help him too? Mitchell Smith. Mitchell Smith. He was he, was he, 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 he worked. He helped out at the store also. Okay. And did you know him back then? Oh. Okay. How did you know him? Uh, I met him. Prior to this, but he he rented the a property from my dad. But he rented what? He rented he rented a property oh. off of my dad. But but I knew I knew him and his woman for a long time. <laughs> okay, and so were you all friends? Yeah. Did you all hang out together? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so he was going to come up and help you and your dad also. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you remember what day of the week June the 15th was on? Should have been a Friday. Okay. And so w w when did the gun show start? That day? Well, the, you could set up on Friday, but the gun show, I think, started on Saturday morning. It went Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Had your dad already come up mm -hmm. to set up? Him and Mitch come up before me and set up the, the booth and everything. That same day? On Friday, yeah. All right. Do you remember what time you came to Lexington? It was in the evening. I don't remember exactly. Okay. Where, and where did you go when you came to Lexington? Where did, did you come up by yourself? Yeah. And where did you go? I went to the motel where we were staying. Do you remember what motel that was? The Quality Inn. Yeah. Quality Inn? Okay. Do you remember where it was? Roughly, I'm not familiar with, okay. with Lexington. Okay. Does Does Newtown Court sound familiar? Yes. Okay. And that's where you were staying. Yes. Who was anybody else supposed to be staying there with you? Me and Mitch. You and Mitch. Yeah. <clears throat> you said that you came up in the evening. When you came to the quality inn, was Mitch there already? Yeah, I mentioned my dad. We're, we're both there. We're both there at the hotel mm -hmm. room. And then you came. Yeah. You're quiet. <laughs> I'm used to the sirens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is that gentleman there? Do you know why you all picked that particular hotel? Uh, my mom rented it or got it online. I, don't, I mean. Okay. She rented it. And just said this is where you're going. Yeah. All right. And were you and Mitch and your dad all supposed to spend the night in that hotel? No, actually, my mother was helping with my grandparents in Cincinnati. That's the reason why me and Mitch was going to take care of the gun show on Saturday, was because my dad was going on up to Cincinnati to, to see my mother. And then he was going to come back on Sunday. So you all are at the hotel, all three of you there. Did your dad leave at some point? Yeah, he left the afternoon to get on up. He left that afternoon? I didn't yeah, he, he left. He left that, that afternoon after I come up here. I don't like that. I don't, I don't remember exact times, but he left to go on up to Cincinnati. Okay. Do you remember if it was daytime or nighttime? It's still daylight. Still daylight. Okay. So you came. They were already there, and then after you got there, at some point he left. Right. So then it was just you and Mitch. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Did somebody else come to the hotel at some point? My wife, then girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Was that Jessica? That was Jessica, yes. Do you remember about what time she came? I don't remember exactly. It was, it was still daylight when she got there. Okay. Um, and why did she come after you as opposed to with you? She had prior engagements on I mean, okay. 
So at some point she came up. And she she was going uh, she was going back home too. That, that was the other plan. You know, she was coming up to see me and then she was going home. Okay, so she was gonna come up to see you a bit a little bit and then go back home. Okay. <clears throat> what did you admit to anything special or particular why you all were in the hotel were waiting for her? No. Okay. And then what happened when she got there? We went out to eat. Where did you go? Went to Hoover's. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You sound so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember about what time you went? Uh, I don't exactly. I mean, if I had to guess, it was probably eight or eight, nine o'clock. Eight, nine o'clock. Okay. So, and all three of you went. Mm -hmm. Eight there. And then what did you do? Go back to the motel. <clears throat> did you stop anywhere before you went to the hotel? Yes. We stopped at the liquor store. Okay, what'd you get? Uh, I don't remember exactly. I got uh, well, those little Smoky Mountain moonshine things. I remember that. Okay. <laughs> all right. You all went back to the hotel then? Mm-hmm. You remember about what time that was? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. And what happened when you got to the hotel? What did you all do? Hung out and watched TV. All three of you? Mm -hmm. Then what happened? At one point, like I said, she was supposed to, the plan was she was, Jessica was coming up to see me and then was going home. Uh, at one point she decided she was going to call because she had to work the next day. And uh, she decided to call in, which was her first it was a big deal for her. It was the first time she called in. <laughs> okay. So she stepped outside to call in, and I followed her outside to smoke a cigarette. Do you remember what time that was? I don't, I don't know exactly. Okay. So I'm going to say this. The um, call to the police that you all made came at about 3-19. Um, and so do you know about how long you all were outside before the police got called? What long? I'd say around three o'clock. Okay. All right. So about three in the morning, you all stepped out because she was going to call off work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know how long you all were out there before before something else happened? What long? Because I hadn't finished a cigarette. Hadn't finished a cigarette. Okay. <laughs> so you were smoking. She was calling. Yeah. And where was Mitch? He was inside the room. Was he awake? Yeah. When you all came outside, did you all, um, how, what was, how was the door on the, um, I flipped the, whatever the, I don't know what it's actually called, but the, the little flip lock thing on the door, I flipped it back to hold the door open. Okay, so it was just kind of a jar a little bit? Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, Okay, so then what happened? And you may have just said that, but how long were you outside before something happened? It wasn't long. Not long? Okay. And then what do you what happened next while you all were standing outside? While we were standing there, there were two guys coming around the corner on our right side. Jessica was on my right side. They walked the length of the motel there. As they passed, the one the one that was in front went all the way past the second one. I looked, looked him. You know, the first one had his head down. Never looked. You know, never looked up. The second one, you know, we got as he got close. I just kind of you know looked him dead in the eye, nodded my head. He nodded back. As he got about three quarters away past me. Turned and put the gun to my chest and said, give me everything you got. Do you remember what hotel what room number you had? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I can, I can tell you the location. You can tell me the location? Okay. And then let me start with... We were directly in front of the pool. Okay, then let me show you. Yes, 
those two pictures first. <clears throat> okay. Do you recognize those two photos? Roughly, the orientation is a little odd. Okay. Now, is the all this is the office? I can tell this. Okay. That's like where you come in from the road in the office there. Okay. So, judging by this picture, that would have been right outside our door. Okay. Right if you come right outside the door. That's that's the view that you would see. All right. So on here. So I'm assuming the office is on. Is the office on this side? I'm assuming. Okay. Putting them together, does that help a little bit more? I'm assuming that, like I said, if, if the office is on the right side of the picture, right. which we can't say yes, Okay. then our room would be in the like midways of the pool room. Okay. So they want to be Okay. And then there's a pillar that's there. Sorry, but there's a pillar that's there right. here. Do you recognize it and remember that pillar? I mean I remember it being there. I don't remember exactly where it was. <coughs> okay. And you said your room would be somewhere in the middle there. Let me ask this. Do you remember um, telling the police that your room would have been room 115? Okay, if that's what I was going to say. If that's what's in the police report, would that have been accurate? Okay. And then, talk about this. So you talked about the office. You recognize that as the office? All right. And then your hotel room would have been where in relation to the office? You would have, that would have been the view if you'd stepped out of our room, you would have been looking at the, the fence around the pool okay. and the office directly behind that. Okay, so did that recognize to be the, from there looking out at the office? Side? Okay. And then I'm going to show you this particular picture. The color in the room 115 that's there. Okay. You recognize that angle? I do. Okay. And tell us about that. Well, we would have been just to the, from this picture, it would have been like right in here, standing just up to the right of our door. Just okay. to the right of the door. So yeah. if you're standing this way and going behind, you'd be just to the right of that door. Right. Okay. And the two of you were standing there. Do you know how far out you had gone? I mean, like when you passed. From the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, Couple of steps, maybe. Okay. At most. I mean, we wasn't very far from the door. No. All right. So then you said that you all are standing out there, you're smoking, she's calling, out there a few minutes, and then you see people come. Mm -hmm. And what direction did they come? They come from the end of that hallway, that hallway corridor, or whatever you want to call that. Okay. Point to what you're talking about. Where, where, where you see the trees right around there. Okay. And when you first saw them, where were they? Like were they way down that corridor or were they close? They were all, well I first seen them when they, they come around the corner of that. From? Yeah, this this corner, this end of the building right here. Okay. They come directly with the, well, I seen where I was standing at 3 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. They, they both come around the corner right, right there is when I first seen them. So like they would have come from? So I seen them here and I watched them walk all the way to where we were at, like right in here. 
And when you said they ran to the corner where they had come up from behind the building the and then turn yeah. left, kind of yeah. thing? Okay. So then you saw them turn and then come that way. Okay. So then describe, you said one, where they walk, was one walking in front of the other? Mm -hmm. Okay. Describe the first person then that you see. Had a hoodie on, like I said, he had, had the hoodie pulled down, head down, never looked up. You know, thought it was really you know, a good look at his, at his face. Okay. Do you remember what color the hoodie was? It was dark. Too. Mm -hmm. Do you remember about how tall he was? Probably about my half. I mean, a little taller. How tall are you? About six foot. Okay. Um, Anything else you remember about him at that time? Not, not at that time, no. Okay. So you said that he was kind of walking first, mm -hmm. and then there was a person that was behind him. Mm -hmm. Describe that person. He was my height, maybe a little shorter. Uh, I had a black hat on. I also had a dark hoodie, but the hood was down. Black ball cap. I call it flat bill. It was a, not this was just on a flat. Okay, so not like the curve, no, that it's just, just black. black. Uh -huh. Do you remember what color it was? It was black, had uh, some kind of writing on it. Uh, I believe it was red, yeah. like a letter or something on it. Like up here? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, hat, letter, dark hoodie, what else? Uh, uh, that's about it at that point. Okay. And like I said, you know, as, as they walked up, I'm <laughs> kind of, I don't know if you call those fast or what. I, I make eye contact. That, that's that's my my thing. You know, if, if you don't if you don't make eye contact with me, I, I'll trust you. Okay. All right. <laughs> but that's so I made eye contact with him. Like I said, uh, I just kind of nodded my head at him. He nodded back at me. And then, like I said, when he got the the first one had done passed all the way. The second one got about three quarters of the way past me, uh, the same one right here. Mm -hmm. And that's when he pulled the gun and put it in my hand. And had you been looking at him in the eye at this point? The whole way. The whole way. Mm -hmm. And you said he turned and he pulled a gun on you. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the gun looked like? It was a black uh, semi-automatic. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what my acre. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's okay. Right. So when he tried to pull the gun on you, what happened? I went to give him the wallet. Uh, Let me start with, what did he say to you when he tried? Give me everything you got. Okay. And then, um, and what did you do? I started to get my wallet. At that time, Jessica had seen the gun, screamed. At that time, the, the, the first one that had passed came back and put the gun up on a separate gun to her head at that point. Uh, and then they, I don't, for whatever reason, I don't know if they seen the door was cocked open or what, but they, they moved the gun to my head and pushed us into the our motel room. Did you give him your wallet while you were outside? Yeah. Did Jessica give him anything? No. When the other one pulled the gun, I guess you said Jessica screamed, the other one pulled the gun. Did um, did, he, did either one of them say anything at that point? I believe the words was to, he told her to shut the fuck up. Okay. And what did she do? Screamed again, I think, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So then you said that they then moved you into, pushed you into the hotel room, put the gun to your head and pushed you to the hotel room. Do you remember the order in which you all went into that hotel room? I know I was first. Okay. The one with the hat was second, had the gun to my head. Okay. And I don't know what was behind Okay. All right. So then, um, so you were first, and then went into the door, and you said the door was already open for the little hook thing. Right. Okay. It, was, it closed automatically, but we had to Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so then you just kind of came through the door. Yeah. <clears throat> did you see Mitch inside? Yep. Right. First thing I seen. And did you see him doing anything? I did. What did you see him doing? Well, he had 
gotten my gun that was on the nightstand when he heard just the scream that started towards the door. Uh, when we come in the door, he, he, I can't speak for him, but right. I mean, so don't, from, right, don't think about what from, you, from, you think it goes, what you see in from, from what, from what I'm, from what I'm gathering what's going on was he seemed that, I mean, there, there's no way that he's going to do anything the way that I'm placed in front of him, so I mean, it's not like he's going to be able to fight back. So I, I see him take the gun, my gun, and kind of try to put it in the, you know, hide it behind him. That's when one of them seen it and said to God, you know, you know, okay. Now let me ask, you said it was your gun. Mm -hmm. What kind of gun was it? Springfield XDS 45. Where had it been in the room? On the house. And how do you know that was the gun he was picking up? Mitch? Mm-hmm. That was only accessible gun. Okay. But could you see him when you picked it up? No, he didn't pick it up. You already picked it up. Could you see it in his hand? Yeah. Okay, you could see it in his hand. You could see that that was your gun. Okay. So you said he put it behind him in the waistband, and one of them yelled. Try to put it in the waistband. Oh, try to put it in the waistband, and one of them yelled up. Okay. And then what happened at that point? I told Mitch, I said, just give him whatever. I said, give him it all. I mean, it don't matter. Just let him have it. And. They made us lay down on the bed. Uh, they kind of went through everything else in the, the room. And, and it was done. So you said that you said to Mitch, you know, everything they had. And did Mitch do that? Yeah. They gave him the gun and gave uh, him the gun. They gave 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 him the gun. They did a bag of mine and a white mine. And then I said it went fairly quick. Did either of them, um, after the gun gun part, did either of them say anything? But like you said at one point they made you get on the bed. What what was said? Get on the bed and shut up. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, the one with the hat seemed to be in charge. The other one was doing more of the searching and looking and working and kind of okay. So then the one with the hat, where was he in the room? He kind of stood just, just inside the door. And then the other one, where was he? He went over to where Mitch was at and it was kind of all over the room. Okay. <clears throat> you said that he, one of, well, did, who, is there a particular one of them that you all get on the bed? <laughs> well, sorry, was there a particular one of them between the two of them? Was there a particular one of them that made you all get on the bed? No one that to get on the bed. Told you all get on the bed. And who of the three of you got on the bed? Me and Jess both got. Jess laid on the bed, I laid on top of her. Okay. And why did you lay on top of her? I figured if they going to shoot her, that's not going to go through her. Okay. So she laid on the bed, you laid on top of her. And then were you still watching then in the room? As much as I could. I mean, I, I was trying to keep her head back. Mm -hmm. Did Mitch ever get on the bed? Yes. They, they turned the, his mattress up for some reason. But after that, he got, up. Maybe he got on the bed. After they turned the mattress up, then he got on the bed. Okay. <laughs> did they say anything else after get on the bed? Did, did either of them say anything else? Just as I was leaving, he said, come on, if you. Which one said that? Yeah. Okay. So you're, who are you pointing to? Yeah, I'm on Okay. Who? I don't know his name. You don't know his name? Okay. So you're pointing to him there in the purple shirt. Yeah. And who do you recognize that to be? It's the one that held the gun in the mic. The robber. Okay. Is that the one that had the hat on? And what is it that you heard him say as they were leaving? Come on, Matthew. And then what did the other one do? The red. Okay. <clears throat> Ken wants that hoodie kind of pull back a little bit. You could tell that he had dreads. Yeah, it was. A large number. Dreads and a large number. Okay. So then you said that this person here, 
There's the one that said, come on, nephew. And that's the one that had the gun to your head. And then what happened after they said that? What happened to And did you see what direction they went? It looked like they made her out. I wouldn't swear to it because the door shuts itself. Mm -hmm. But you think that they made a right and went back down? Yeah. But back to town? Yeah, back, yeah. back down the wall, the sidewalk, I guess. The direction of that came. Okay. And what items were taken? You talked about the wallet outside. Um, and what was taken inside that belonged to you? The cell phone. After uh, these two left, Jessica ran to the bathroom, called 911 on her cell phone, okay. and I used the the phone there in the motel to call 911. Okay. Have you since listened to your 911 call? Once. Once. All right. In your office. <laughs> in my office. Okay. I'm going to play that um, for you right now. Sorry, can you switch this? It's important. Please take a minute. Attention to that one button, Mr. Mercury. We'll call the AME off of New Park Court. Can you take my hand, please? Put the gun on there. I'll just go wrong. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Shane Hansford. Okay, come on, that's all. This is the following Yes. Or room 115. Okay, so you a patron there? Huh? Are you a patron there? Yes. Okay, so this is not the front desk? No, it's not the front desk. I was standing outside my room smoking a cigarette. Two black males come up, tell me I'm going home, took my wallet, come, maybe come in the room. Okay. Several items in just a moment. What is it? Room number 115. Back back. Don't take it back. Put it back in the very back. Okay, somebody else calling also? Uh, possibly. Okay, step one. Somebody else is calling. Coming back. Okay. 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 
seen some of the damage you provide all the information. Yeah. Is there anything else that you need to add? Anything she's doing okay with that? She's doing okay with it. Okay. Are you all okay? Yeah, we're all there right now. Okay, we injure anything like that? No. Okay. Now, the other individual in the room, does he have a gun? The other individual in the room? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He yeah, has a gun. That's what my gun do. Okay, but does, does anybody else in the room? Okay, does anybody else in the room have a gun? Uh, no, he, he went out, so he's hanging outside the door. I don't know where he went. Okay, does he have a gun? Yes. He does have a gun? Yes, he has my gun. So how many guns were stolen? I had two, he they took one. Okay, and there's one left? Yes. I'm going to suspect him. But there's no one here, it's not here in the room. He went outside the door because we were here for the gun show, they took mm -hmm. the money from the, that we had for the shop. I see. You don't know where he went? No, he went outside. I've been on phone with you. He went outside the door. I don't know. The door shut. Can you come around with me next moment? Mm -hmm. Hold on. He's, he's going back to the house. Oh, my God. Oh,
Shane, when we left off, I think we were talking about um, the 911 call. And I was asking you um, what Mitch was doing when we were talking about no Mitch. Tell us what he was doing. He was trying to get me to give him my other handgun that I had, and he wanted to go after him. Where was that night? It was in a backpack of mine. A backpack of yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to talk again about that black microphone then. Make sure you speak up, okay? <laughs> All right. And what kind of gun was that one? It was a, a uh, 9mm kel -Tec. And that was a backpack you said that you had? Mm -hmm. did, did the people that, well, one of them was from a but the, the people that robbed you, the defendant, did, did they go through those, that, that backpack in the room? They did. Uh, the, where I carry the gun was in the back of the particular backpack that I had, had a spot for a uh, laptop in the back of it. It's padded. It's on the very back part. It was kind of hidden. And that's where I carried that gun out. And so that, they didn't go through that particular portion of that backpack? No. Right. But did they go through the other portion of the backpack? Yeah. Did you give the gun to him? Did he end up getting the gun? <laughs> he, he told me if I didn't give him the gun, he was going without it. So. And so ultimately you gave him the gun? I did. And did he leave the room? Yes. At some point, did he come back? He did. With the gun? With the gun. With the gun, okay. <clears throat> and I think at the end of that call, you were saying, you were talking, you were talking to him at the end of that yes. call and telling the call that he's back now? Yes. And then did you get the gun back? I did. And secured it? I did. You talked about um, Mr. Malazam and the, the, the other person that was there. Did you, were you able to identify that other person? Which, which the one, one with the dreads? No. Okay. When you were talking about that other person going through the room, yeah. what exactly was he, was he going through? He went through the drawers, uh, like the bed, Mitch's bed, which is the, the second bed in, the mattress had been kind of pulled up on it. Uh, my backpack had been gone through. Uh, they took my cell phone and just kind of quickly just went through the room, you know, everything that was obviously out, I guess. After they left, and after you called 911, what did you all do? I waited on law enforcement. Okay. And did you do that in the room? In the room, yes. In the room? And then an officer come? Yep. Several. Several came? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> And did you talk with them about what happened? Yes, I did. After they left, um, what did you all do after the police left? Actually, I think we left before all of the police left. Oh, you all left before the police <laughs> did? Okay. Uh, before all of them left. I mean. They, like I said, there were several that, could, that showed up. Uh, they kind of split up, I guess, searching for them. Uh, I don't think they were. I don't. I, I'm. I'm not 100 percent sure that all that all of them had had left when we left. Because after they got done talking to us, we were packing our stuff and leaving. After they got done talking to you, what? After the police got done talking to us, we packed. We packed what was left of our stuff, threw it in the truck, and we left. Okay. So when you all did that, there were still officers that were there? I do believe so. Okay. <clears throat> and you said that you all put the rest of your stuff in the truck and then left? Yeah. Did all three of you get into the same vehicle? Yes, yes. Okay. And, what, and whose vehicle? It was actually my father's. Your father's vehicle? Yeah. And what happened when, did you suggest they came up separately? She left, we left her car there. Left her car there. Yeah. And then Mitch was up separately. No, he come up with dad. Oh, okay. In that car, in yeah. your dad's truck? Yeah. And then what about your vehicle? Dad, dad had took it to us since then. Oh, okay. So your dad left? No. We had, we, had the, we had the, his truck because it had the rest of the stuff for the, the gun job. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And then when you all left, where did you go? Uh, a little bit everywhere. We figured that we were safer driving than sitting at this point. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and how long did you drive around? Uh, we we drove around for quite a while. I remember we went to Walmart at one point because we figured there's people there, so you know we were fairly safe there. Uh, and then it wasn't long after daylight we met because after this happened, I'd called, contacted my father, told him what had happened, and he was on his way back down here. And we uh, it wasn't long after daylight we met him back at the gun show parking lot. And did you all go in and do the gun show? Mm-hmm. We did. Okay. <clears throat> did you ever have any of your property recovered at any point? My cell phone was covered. I got it back that day, that following. How did you get it back? Uh, I actually used the Find My iPhone app or whatever it is, and you could put a you could put a message on the, the phone, and it was found by uh, some guy. He, he called today. I got your phone, and he left it at uh, Super America. Where? Where? where do you know what Super America? Uh, it was north of town. If that I'm saying, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know exactly there. Okay. Um, and it, did you go in to get it? Yeah, we went. We went there and got it. The, the guy who actually found it had he was on his way to work and couldn't wait, but he left it with the the woman that was working there. The cashier the, working? Yeah. And then when you got there, the cashier handed it to you? Yeah, she asked me to identify it, you know, make sure it was mine or whatever. But yeah, then we contacted 911 and told them that we'd found it. <clears throat> then how long did you all stay at the gun show? Uh, we closed the booth up that, that night, I don't know. Just that night? Yeah. Was it a more than, was it like a two-day event? Yeah, I think it was a two-day event, but we come, we come home that, that evening. That same, that same evening? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Other, after talking to the police initially that night, did you talk with any um, police officers after that? Not until they contacted us. Uh, I think initially it was to find out if I had any shell casings. And then we done a lineup at whatever point. Yeah, speak up. <laughs> we done a lineup where they we met them and they, they went through a lineup at some point we met when we met them, I don't know the exact date or anything like that. Do you remember who the detective was? The, uh, Upchurch was one of them. I don't know what the other one's name was. Okay. So was there more than one detective? There's two, two detectives. Yes. Two of them. Detective Upchurch? Yeah. Does the name Detective Schoonover sound familiar? I like that too. Okay. Yeah. Where did they meet you? Uh, in a parking lot in Burnside. In Burnside? Yeah. Okay. Before that, let me ask. You, you said that they came to pick up a casing. Um, at some point, did you have to provide information about the, your gun that was stolen? Yes, I don't know. Because I have the, I still have the box with the serial number and all that on it. Okay. You know, I, I provided that to them. Can you describe, you know, tell me what your gun looked like? You said it was a Springfield. It was a Springfield XDS 3.3 uh, single stack 45 black. <laughs> okay, it's all black? Yeah. And you said single stack with that? Yeah, that, that means uh, the magazine, the, the, the round sit straight up and down in the magazine instead of going side, side by side. So it only holds like seven rounds versus, you know, 10 or 12. Right, so stack yeah. that way. And do you, do you remember the serial number that you gave to the officer? I have, a, I have a picture of it. <laughs> you, have a, you have a picture of it? I do. A picture, you took a picture on your phone? Yeah, it's actually in the room in there. Because <laughs> I don't have a phone on me. <laughs> okay. Um, would you maybe recognize the number if I said it? I'm pretty good with numbers. It, XDS, it was like 988 something something, the last two's 18. 
<laughs> okay. Maybe XS six nine six seven one eight. Sure. Yeah. I couldn't tell you one hundred percent sure without looking at the. Okay. The, but I have a pick. Like I said, I have I have the box that it come in that has the the serial numbers on it. So I took a picture of that. It's on my phone. And it's on its phone. Is it back there with your wife right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just to make sure that's the same number. Um, <clears throat> and how long have you had that particular gun? Uh, not very long. A uh, couple months. A couple months you had had back? Uh, okay. and, and then you had brought, you said, two of them actually up with you, right? Yes. Right. Are, you, are you familiar with guns? Are you around guns regularly? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit? Yeah. And tell me about that. I mean, I, I like to go out and just sport shooting type things, and then you know, I've, been, I've been around guns my whole life, but you know, living in where I do, it's, you know, hunting, fishing, <laughs> you know, and, and then having guns at the store, and I mean, being around them, my dad's a gunsmith, so. Okay. Do, you, are, do you also um, go to a range? Yeah. We have a range on, on our property. You have a range on the property you go out there too? Mm -hmm. Is this your phone and what you would have? It looks like it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Serial number is XS696718. And that you took from the box um, that the gun came in? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You said then that you, um, the next thing then you hear from um, Detective Upchurch about doing one casings and you wanted to do a lineup. No. Okay. Do you, you know, do you remember when that was specifically? I, no, I don't. Okay. Does July 29th sound familiar? Sure. <laughs> okay. I, I don't. I could. I couldn't tell you one hundred percent sure. Was it a few weeks later? Was there some? Like, yeah, yeah. There was some time. Sometime after. Between there. Yeah. All right. And tell me where he met you. We met at uh, Burnside and at a parking lot. Who? Outside of. And who went with you? Who was with you? The uh, Jessica and Mitch. Okay. <clears throat> and you all met in the parking lot. And what was? What happened when you all were there? What did you what, what did you do when you all were there? Which which time are we talking about? The lineup time? Uh huh. What's the other time? We had the showcases. Did he do that on the same day? We got. I think it. No, I think it was separate days. Because sure? the the showcasing. No, I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. I think the detective will say it happened on the same, same day. Same day, okay. That's why I was asking that question. Well, they, they also come down a, a, a another time and got went to the range with Mitch. So that's, okay. That's it's right. Right. That's right. Did you go with him that time? No. Okay. No, I wasn't with him on that time. All right. So I'm going to talk about the time that they came with you. Mm -hmm. They came with you and Justin and Mitch and did the lineups in that case that day. Okay. Okay. Um, and you all met in the parking lot. And then... Um, how they were showing you lineups, is that correct? Yes. Do you remember how that all went? How that how that happened, what they said, anything like that? Uh, they had a paper that had like a list of things that we had to read and initial saying we understood it. And then they show us pictures. <clears throat> when and who was doing the talking to you about that? Uh, mostly up church. Okay. When he mentioned or, or was talking to you about the lineup, did he, uh, do you remember what he said? Like, did he tell you that the person you're looking for is definitely in there? No. Okay. Did he give you some instructions, some lineup instructions? Yeah, that, uh, basically just, you know, they may or may not be in there. If you recognize them, you know, just pick out the one that you recognize. Tell me where you recognize them from. Uh, 
you know, they, he, he did he did say that the pictures may be old, they may be new, they may have different hair styles or from you know, when when we seen them versus when the picture was taken. You know, it was just a generalized stuff like that. But I mean, but no, he never he never did say that you know they were definitely in that or anything like that. Okay. And when you recognize that form to be? That's the form that Detective Up Church went over with us before the lineup. Okay. And make sure you speak up. Maybe if I talk later, I'll be talking later too. Excuse me. And on the first part of this information, um, in it, the very first line, I'm about to show you a series of photos of individuals. Mm -hmm. Did he read that to you or did you read it yourself? Do you remember? I think he read it. Okay. And went through all of that. And then there's a place on the side here to initial. Mm -hmm. Did you is this your yes. signature your initial here? Yes. And down the is this your initial here? Yes. Okay. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through it. The first one, I'm about to show you a series of photos of individuals. It is just as important to clear innocent persons from suspicion as to identify guilty parties. You read that to you? I do not know whether the person being investigated is included in this series. Individuals present in the series may or may not appear exactly as they did on the date of the incident because features such as head hair and facial hair are subject to change. You remember him telling you that? You should not feel you have to make an identification. If you do not identify someone, I will ask you to describe in your own words how certain you are. Made misspoke. If you do identify someone. The photos will be shown to you one at a time, and they are not in any particular order. Take as much time as you need to examine each photo. If you make an identification, I will continue to show you the remaining photos in the series. Mm -hmm. Tell you that. And regardless of whether you make an identification, we will continue to investigate the incident. Since this is an ongoing investigation, you should not discuss the identification procedures or results. And you remember him telling you all of that? Yes. Okay, and you initial all of that as well. Yes. All right. And then... So after um, Detective Upchurch read that those instructions to you, did he show you a series of photos? Yes. Okay. Do you remember, did he show you two different types of lineups? Yes. And do you remember what they, what, kind of what they look like? Um, the, the first one he showed was an envelope. Okay. <laughs> or a folder. Like this? Yes. Okay. And then the second one was just pictures. Okay. Um, separate pictures. Do you remember what order he showed them to you? What do you mean order? Like, like did he show you the, the folder first and then the other set, or the other set first and then the folder? I think it was the folder first. The folder first? Okay. So he went through, he read this instruction to you, and then what did he do? Handed me that and he said, do I recognize anybody in the photo? Okay. So he handed it to you and asked if you recognize anybody in that photo. Mm -hmm. And... Other than that, did he say anything else to you? No. Okay. Do you recognize that folder as the one that he showed you? I do. Do you recognize anyone in that photo? I do. And who do you recognize? Number five. Okay. And this this picture right here, number five. Mm -hmm. All right. And who do you recognize that person to be? The man sitting there. Okay. And then that man sitting there, is that the one that robbed you at Quality Inn? He is. On the bottom of the form, after you, did you tell them Detective Upchurch mm -hmm. number five? I did. Did he ask you um, to write something on this form? He did. And what did he tell you to write? Whatever I felt. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and do you remember, I'm going to show you that now. Do you remember what you wrote? I did. And what did you say? The longer I look at the photos, number five is who I, who I feel robbed me. Okay. Tell us what you mean by that. You get this sick feeling in your stomach when you go through something like this. It's indescribable, but to this day, I mean, it's been four years. I can look at that photo and I still get sick in my stomach. It wasn't pleasant. Okay. And so when you're, when you're saying, 
the longer I look at, the more that I feel that he's the one that robbed me. Are you are you unsure about that at all? The way that no. it's written, are you unsure about that? No, I'm 100% sure. Okay. There's no doubt in my mind. That that's the person? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then I think when you were first talking about it, you were talking about how long you had to look at him and how you looked at him. Um, and <clears throat> this person that you picked out, Mr. Malone, mm -hmm. that's the one that you saw coming down the corridor? He was number two. He was the second person? Wearing the hat. Wearing the hat. No. Did his face it, or the hat cover any, I guess, impede your ability to see his face? The top of his head. Okay. He said it was like a flat bill hat, so it didn't really cover the sides. You know, it's, it's sitting on top. Okay. And then you said that's the person that you look right in the eyes. He went, oh. Absolutely. And then how long was he outside, do you think, before you all got put in, pushed inside? I mean, from the other end? Mm -hmm. the from the other end that you observed him to when you all got pushed inside? Probably about a couple minutes, maybe, from the from the time he walked from one end to the other. You know. Okay. And then how long from um, when one you all got pushed inside to when they left? That was a little harder because heat of the moment, you don't really, I mean, it seems like forever, but it probably wasn't, but you know, four or five minutes. Okay. And then, um, <clears throat> Did Detective Upchurch then show you, the, I guess, the other series of photos? Yes. Then with respect to the second set, hmm. you recognize that form? I do. And the initials that are listed on there, you recognize that as well? I do. All right. And are these the same line of procedures? Yes. For this one as well, and initialed by you? Yes. All right. And then... Um, Initial here and signed here, is that right? Yes. Right. And did he show you um, a series of photos then? Yes. All right. Do, were, they, were they this small? Is that what he was showing you? Or do you remember? I think. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Okay. All right. And you looked at those. Did he, how did he show those to you? He just, I think he just handed them one at a time. Okay. And were you able to identify anyone in that series of photos? No. Before you um, went into the car with Detective Upchurch, had you and Mitch or Jessica talked about the lineup procedure or talked about what you were going to do when you got there? Mm, no. Okay. Did you all talk about the? Have you all had you all talked about the robbery and the descriptions or anything like that? I mean, obviously we talked about the robbery, but I mean. I don't, I don't recall you know, specifically talking about your work. Okay. <clears throat> when you all did the lineup, did Detective Upchurch give you all any instructions about what, whether you all were supposed to talk to each other? I think he said don't talk, don't talk to each other once we got out of the car. Okay. No. And did you did you all talk to each other once you got out of the car? No. Okay. Did y'all talk about who you picked out or anything like that? After it was all over. After it was over. Okay. Did, um, once you kind of made this, like when you picked out this particular, when you picked out Mr. Blog out of that lineup, did Detective Upchurch tell you if you picked anybody out? No. Directly, he didn't say anything to you at all no. about that? Actually, actually, he wouldn't. We tried. <laughs> you tried and he would not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Prior to, um, Doing the lineup, had you um, had you seen either one of them on the news? No. You also um, you also said that during that trip that Detective Upchurch came to get some shell casing from you. Yes. Tell me about that. Yeah, he asked if I had any spent rounds from my gun and me and Mitch had been to the range recently so we went to the range and got some of the, the spent casings that, that we knew either come from my gun or his because we both had 45 at the time 
So we took the, the two shell casings. We knew one was mine and one was Mitch's. We just didn't know which one was which. And we gave them to them. So you just gathered up some shell casings and gave them to them? I think that, that's what that's why they come back and shot Mitch's at a later time was to roll out his gun from the shell cases that we had. Okay. And you did you go with him on that trip? No. No. Okay. Do you you don't do you remember what kind of ammunition you used? I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Judge, at this time I move to introduce exhibits one through four, which are the photos you called in. Exhibit five, which is the 911 call. And exhibit six, seven, and eight, which are the lineup um, instructions and the photograph one. Yeah. And when your gun was stolen, do you remember if it was loaded? It was. It was loaded? Fully loaded? Yes. And you said it holds about how many? Like that particular clip was, uh, I think there's six in the magazine and one in the chamber. I don't think I have any questions for you. Thank you.